Hi guys, uh, this video is uh, for Shuel 11 in YouTube, in YouTube, on YouTube. So, uh, as discussed before in my last video with the SR10, this uh, battery pack is uh, actually, I have three of these, uh, are made of uh, A123 Life Po4 lithium iron phosphate uh, cells. These cells are available on eBay and uh, I think I have purchased the 4 pack and the 5 pack and then I have 9 total and these 9 is okay for 3 packs, 3 9.9 .9 volt packs. These are fairly lightweight uh, and able to supply very good uh, a power for its size and for its weight. Uh, this pack is a 1100 mAh capacity pack, and uh, I think that's okay for uh, for day of skirmish when you are not shooting all all day full auto. If you do, uh, you may need two or three of these. Uh, the good point of these. Uh, when these are soldered in uh, stick configuration, it can be uh, put in in uh, VFC system, AKs like Kalashe K uh, under the top cover, and it fits fine in my SR10, and it fits fine in in most of the grain stacks, and in fact, is these are very very good in cold weather, so. When it goes under freezing point, uh, it still performs very very well. So it is even better uh, with the even better than a lipo with the same capacity, and it is uh, tolerates uh, the too much uh, the under under voltage better and can accept charging with a higher. Uh, amp rate. So this is how we charge it. I have this connector on this. So this is a Turnigy Acusa 6 and this is a clone to the IMAX B6 I usually used to mention in my videos. I heavily recommend these chargers for, uh, for airsoft and for RC modeling uh, lipos, life pofors, and others. I'm connecting the these. So these connected. Okay, we have to go to the menu in the charger. It says an IMH charge. We don't need to do that. We need to set node user set per program. Start. LiPo voltage type a uh, life as you can see the cell uh, voltage is 3.3 .3 watts ok set go back user set we don't need to load and save anything and I see the image L life ok life charge 1 amps 9.9 volt as we use 3 cell configuration and hold the start button and it asks 3 serial configuration config and it starts charging yeah we see uh, rate of fire and trigger response uh, Comparison between the 7.4 watt stock tube like I use in my GMP Sentry and this. Okay, thanks for watching. Great, comment, subscribe. Be safe, be responsible, whatever. <laughs> Bye. And now the battery pack has finished charging, and as you can see, it only accepted 321 mAh of uh, capacity. So after seven mid caps with uh, 100 rounds each it only accepted three
120 and 21 mAh of charge. So that's really good. And also uh, it, it shows that the KWAS R10 consumes very little energy on each shot. Okay, thanks.